roasted chicken, Cuban style, Latin American style. This Peruvian pollo a la brasa is phenomenal. Give it a try. To start with the marinade, we're gonna put it all in the blender. Two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of white vinegar, one tablespoon of dry rosemary, one tablespoon of dry oregano, five or six cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of mustard, and one teaspoon each of paprika, cumin, and pepper. In Peru, we use ají panca, but you can substitute for two tablespoons of chili powder. Have a can of beer, have a cup of water, and blend. To prepare this patch cut chicken, you have to dry it really, really well. Hold it from the butt, and you're gonna run through the back spine with some very sharp scissors. Turn it around, and you can do all the way from the neck back all the way to the butt part of the chicken. You're gonna open the chicken like you see. There's the bone of the breast. Flip it over, press with your hand until you hear it crack, or you can also use a knife and hit it in the middle so you can open it well. With the back of a spoon, separate the skin from the flesh of the chicken so that all the juices of the marinade will get all in between the delicious chicken. Give it a good bath, massage it a little bit, and put a film, put it in the refrigerator, and wait eight hours. For the homemade fries, just get your favorite potato, cut it in sticks, and put them in a bowl of water until you're ready to fry them all. Okay guys, so to make this delicious pepper sauce that we're gonna dip our chicken and fries in, I've made this recipe now with jalapenos, which is easier for you to find them, everybody loves them. So here are the ingredients. So you're gonna have two or three, depending on your taste, jalapenos. I devein them and take the seeds out because I'm a wimp on spiciness. My family does love spice, so I have to usually make two batches, but in this case, I'm gonna just make one that's kind of a mild, milder taste. Have an onion that is chopped right here. We have two hefty tablespoons of mayo, one tablespoon of regular yellow mustard. We have pepper and salt according to taste, three cloves of garlic, half a cup of evaporated milk, and then my herbs. What I have here is just a little bunch is from our garden of cilantro, then a couple sprigs of uh, oregano, and then two mint leaves. I'm gonna first saute my onions with my garlic and my jalapeno, and I'm gonna show you in a minute. Okay guys, so for my sauce, I have my blender. I'm gonna put in my vegetables. I want you to take a look at them. Some of them more char than others. Yellow mustard goes in here. Who doesn't like mustard, right? Okay, now I'm gonna put my mayo in here, my two half teaspoonfuls of mayo. All right, here I go. I'm gonna start with only half of my milk, just because this is used to kind of loosen your sauce, okay? I'm gonna put my salt in, my pepper. All right, so here I go with my leaves of mint, and then here I go with my cilantro all at once. Here we go. And then goes my oregano. I'm gonna take out just the little leaves. You don't want those big stems anyway. Yeah, here I go, they're washed and dried. I'm gonna put the lid on this, I'm gonna give it a blend, and I'm gonna show you when it's done. Okay, so I want you to see the consistency of this crema, if you want to call it. It's like a loose, it's not too thick, it's not like mayonnaise. Because you're supposed to drizzle it over the roasted chicken, pollo a la brasa it's called. A little more salt. I'm going to adjust the salt. I'm going to adjust the pepper. Mmm, delicious. It is a little warm because of my vegetables were warm. Remember, we saute them. So just in the refrigerator, and when it's ready, we're ready to eat. I'll pour it on a little container. Set for the table, we're done. Let me try it. Mmm, that's good. It's spicy. But I need you to do this part for the chicken. The chicken is gonna cook in one of these cast iron skillets. You're going to put your skillet in the oven at the beginning before you turn it on, on 500. Make sure there's a little oil on the bottom, right? You're gonna put it in through the whole preheating process. 500 degrees until it beeps. We want it super hot, so this skin will be super crispy as well. So here's my chicken, it's been in the refrigerator for about eight hours. Um, now I'm gonna take it out. Okay, so I'm gonna take the chicken and put it in my cutting board here because I need to dry him out a little bit. 
he had a long bath. So here I'm gonna put it here in my in my table, in my cutting board. Remember what we cut out of this patch cut chicken? You can I'm gonna use it as well in the oven. I'm gonna push this to the side. I'm gonna get just some paper towels and I am just going to dab it so that I can take out some of the juice because if I put this bird on, in, on the skillet, it's gonna be a disaster. Yeah, look how beautiful. It's going to be perfectly flat on my pan, which is gonna give it that amazing crust that you want. All right, so let me pull my pan out and you're gonna see me in action. I don't know if you can see my hot pan. You can see all of that smoke coming out. All right, I'm gonna swirl my oil around. It's just a little bit of oil, I don't know if you can tell. And here we go. I'm gonna put the chicken in. You're gonna hear it. Woo, smells so good. All right, just leave it like that for a second. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it back in the oven. I lowered it to 450 because 500 will be too much. I'm gonna leave it in there at 450 for 30 minutes. I just wanna remind you that every time you open the oven, you lower the temperature. So stay put, don't open the oven for the next 30 minutes. And I promise you, it's gonna be awesome. Meanwhile, I'm about to get everything ready to fry my amazing homemade fries. So I can dip them in the great sauce have dinner. Very important, you need to dry those potatoes really, really well. I usually don't fry potatoes. I love them, so I know I'm gonna eat them all. But there is no pollo a la brasa, which is our, our chicken, without fresh cut, thick, delicious fries. I just have to. To make sure your oil is ready, put a wooden spoon, and when you see the bubbles coming out, it's ready to go. 30 minutes it's over, flip the bird, and lower the temperature to 450. Make sure the inside temperature reads 160 degrees. Okay guys, so take a look at my chicken. It came straight out of the oven. It's gonna rest for about five minutes. You can baste it again. Look how gorgeous. Smells delicious like a real polleria where they sell, of course, the roasted chicken in Peru. In Peru, they serve it with just a pretty piece of lettuce, a couple of slices of delicious fresh plump tomatoes, a couple more avocados, of course, that looks like a regular, just good salad. We're gonna drizzle, you can drizzle some of this delicious sauce that I made, the green one, with the jalapenos and all the spices. Put a piece of chicken, I'm gonna cut the chicken. I am a dark meat kind of girl, so all you gotta tell me is thigh and leg and I'm right there. So I cut the chicken, it comes off the bone really, really easily. You don't have to do anything, look at this piece of chicken gonna go right here on my plate. Yeah, of course, the fries, because without this homemade fries, thick and just perfectly fried with the skin on. Take a look at it, guys. We will eat it with, of course, with um, the yellow sauce too for dipping. Usually they'll just put it on the side so you can just dip your chicken right there and the green one on the other side because I love dipping sauces from my kitchen to yours. Enjoy.